Dorcas, uh, congratulations. Uh, a second Big Ten title in the heptathlon. Five now for your career between indoor and outdoor. Uh, how was this one a little different from, from some of the others? Well, the others I prepared for, so that was nice. This one has been a struggle. I've just been trying to get my hammy back in shape, and it's, it's been a struggle up until now. So this is my first heptathlon all year. So hopefully I'll have one more. How that, coming down to that, eight, that 800, and, and you knew you had to keep uh, Anne in sight, uh, what was going through your head when you ran that 800? It was a little scary because she was at the top of the waterfall, so I was a little nervous about how I was going to get to her in time. But I just tried to run smart and tried to run good splits. And at the end, when I saw she was trying to, she was coming back, I took my chance and tried to pull forward. It's been kind of a challenging season for you. What, what does this mean to, to cap it off this way? I mean, you've got a little bit more left ahead of you, but, but to win this title. Oh, it's awesome. I'm so proud of myself to be able to win this without doing what I know is necessary. So I'm just happy that I was able to stay strong mentally, especially throughout this meet, because I was getting down on myself, but I had to tell myself if it hurts, then I just, you just have to keep pushing. And thank you to Nate for telling me that multiple times. And speaking of that mental game, usually you, you've had a couple of teammates in, in Jessica Flax and uh, Deanna Latham to help you out. You know, you guys can kind of help each other, um, keep each other up. But you were all on your own this weekend. How much different was that for you? It was, I haven't had a multi all by myself in a long time. So it was very different. And even the whole morale of the multi, usually I'm joking with other, other te with my teammates and with other people because I'm comfortable because my teammates are there. But this, this year I had to really focus, which was, like, I think, a good thing. It helped me stay on track to win. How, how much different was this season, too, not, not competing indoors, not having any, any eligibility, and then coming out, like you said, this was your first heptathlon of the year? Yeah, um, well, first of all, watching Jessica win the indoors was just so much, so motivational. She's amazing. She did what she had to do. She PR'd, and she's just like an inspiration to me. I can't believe she's she's been pushing so hard, and so that was really good coming in outdoors. I just knew that I had to take a little bit of her and bring it with me. Now, you guys have combined between the two of you. This is the fourth straight season that Wisconsin has swept the pentathlon and heptathlon titles. What does that mean for what you guys have been able to do in terms of dominating the Big Ten over the time you've been in Wisconsin? It's awesome. I hope it gets Nate a whole bunch of good recruits. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to miss Jessica and Deanna on the podium with me, but I'm happy that I was able to give the, the win to Wisconsin. All right, and from here uh, on to the NCAA championships, uh, how, how do you feel moving forward into your, your last NCAA meet? Um, I think I'm gonna, gonna rehab the hammy some more and then get some speed training because that was what I was lacking this meet. So I'm gonna do some sprints and as much as I can get in shape and so that I'm prepared for nationals. All right, congratulations, Orcus. Great job. Thanks.